English, one thirteen. Grammar one. Chapter three. Using the simple present. Part one. Chapter three. Using the simple present. Part one. The learning objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to form the simple present tense appropriately. Recognize the use of the simple present tense. Use adverbs of frequency with the simple present tense. Identify the spelling and pronunciation of final s or es. The simple present tense, affirmative statements. Use the base form of the verb, for example, play, with the personal pronouns I. You, we, or they, or with the plural form of nouns. Examples: I speak English. You play football. We study hard. They sleep early. What do all of these have in common? Well, if you look, speak, play, study, and sleep. Are the base form of the verb, but where are the personal pronouns? They're right here: I, you, we, or they. Another example: use the base form of the verb plus s or es. So play is the base form, and s with the personal pronouns he, she, or it. Or with the singular form of nouns. Example: He goes to school. The he is a personal pronoun, and goes has an es. She teaches English. Teach is the base form. You add the es, and. The personal pronoun is she. It rains a lot. Tom plays tennis. Two other examples that are similar, but with these, only the s is added. The simple present tense, negative statements and contractions. Use do not or don't. Plus the base form of the verb. The base form is play, so do not play with the personal pronouns I, you, we, or they, or with the plural form of nouns. Don't is a contraction of do not. Examples: I do not speak English. With the contraction, I don't speak English. Another example. You do not play football. With the contraction, you don't play football. We do not study hard. With the contraction, we don't study hard. They do not sleep early. With the contraction, they don't sleep early. These have the same meaning. The simple present tense. Negative statements and contractions. Use does not or doesn't plus the base form of the verb. Plays the base form, so does not play with the personal pronouns he, she, or it, or with the singular form of nouns. Doesn't is a contraction of does not. Here are the examples. He does not go to school. With the contraction, he doesn't go to school. She does not teach English. With the contraction, she doesn't teach English. It does not rain a lot. With the contraction, it doesn't rain a lot. Be careful. Do not. Don't add s or es to the base form with. Doesn't use the base form without s or es. The simple present tense 
yes or no questions. Begin your yes or no question with do, with the personal pronouns I, you, we, or they, or with the plural form of nouns. Here are the examples. Do you speak English? In this example, we begin our question with do, with the personal pronoun you, speak is the base form of the verb English. And the answer would be, yes, I do. I speak English very well. Begin your yes or no question with does, with the personal pronouns he, she, or it, or with the singular form of nouns. Examples. Does Sammy know your email address? No, he doesn't. Sammy doesn't know my email address. Be careful. Don't add S or ES to the base form with does. Use the base form without S or ES. The simple present tense WH questions. Begin your WH question with a question word. What are the question words? What, where, when, who, why, how, what time. Then use the same word order as in yes or no questions. Where does your friend live? He lives in London. What time does your class begin? My class begins at 9.30. What do you do in your free time? I read a lot and sometimes go to the gym with my friends. It is very important to note that you use the same word order as in yes or no questions when you begin your question with a question word. Please review the previous slides for reminders. The simple present tense. Use the simple present tense to talk about something that happens all the time or repeatedly. Repeatedly meaning usual activities or habits, something that you do almost or every day. Linda works all day and studies at night. I get up at 6 o'clock. How often something happens. Here's an example. My little sister sometimes helps her mother in the kitchen. They seldom take a vacation. Seldom is not often. Something that is true in general facts. The sun rises in the east. Birds fly. These are facts. End of part one.